Hey guys, how are you? This is Jim from the Pain PT. And today we're going to talk a little bit about defense mechanisms and what they are and how they block you from feeling your feelings and working with them in the right way. And we're going to be going over more of this in my um, weekly groups I do. Each month we'll be starting the next groups for this upcoming month um, this week. So if you want to sign up, um, go to my website, thepainpt.com, and you can fill out a request form. And we practice a lot of somatic work as well as going through the understanding and the knowledge and what we want to do and how we want to handle these brain symptoms. I call them BS, brain symptoms or TMS, and how we work with them. And so you guys can get more information there. It's been a really good group. So I want to touch base today on defenses, okay? Defense mechanisms. Defenses are ways that we defend, you could say, against the feeling in the body or against the sensation or what you guys would call a symptom. Okay, so remember a symptom in your body is just something you feel. Uh, a symptom is a feeling, okay? A symptom isn't a thought. It's something you do feel in your body. And the idea here with brain symptoms, okay, are generated by your nervous system, central nervous system brain, is that these are benign, harmless sensations or feelings. They're not something that's created locally from some kind of tissue damage or structural damage. They're produced centrally in the brain uh, through signals from the nerves, okay, and end up creating chemistry and chemical reactions but the brain produces it, not the body. So it's in a sense, a, a reaction, um, it's an emotion, it's sensitization, it's what we call conditioning. It's the brain reacting to something, being triggered or being turned on or staying turned on um, either over a period of time from conditioning or from sensitization and overreaction. But essentially what's happening guys, as bad as the stuff feels, it's not sinister, it's, it's bad. It feels bad, but it's not bad. It's not what it means. You guys mean it or believe it or see it as completely bad and you're treating it and looking at it as if there's something wrong with you, like a physical structural problem, but we don't wanna do that, okay? We don't wanna do that. So what happens is because the stuff can feel bad and you've had it for a long time, it's chronic, we develop defenses against what we feel, meaning we don't wanna feel it. We don't want to be open to it. We don't want to allow it in to be felt so it can go. So defenses are something we do to block, avoid, distract, not feel what's there. Now you can, you can imagine there's a lot of different defenses that people have against these strong feelings. Now again, the strong feelings can represent emotions because a lot of you have been through adverse childhood events, ACE scores, which I screened for in my initial assessment. How do you guys have anxiety and uh, sensitivity and depression? So these are going to generate very strong emotions, feelings, aka symptoms in your body that you may have difficulty handling and not wanting to feel because of your history. But remember, guys, there's nothing wrong with this stuff. So we do want to feel it. We do want to open to it. We do want to allow it. We do need to let it pass. So a defense could be anything from a distraction. Okay, you notice a feeling come up and you consciously want to distract yourself or ignore ignorance. I want to ignore it. Okay, now distraction is not necessarily bad. It's, it's one of the tools we can use once you've addressed the feeling in the body. Once you've consciously have an approach to it and you put in motion, then you can go and distract. Okay, but if you're just avoiding the feeling, avoiding the sensation and the symptom, that's is ignoring, trying to ignore it. Okay, that's a defense mechanism. Avoiding the feeling in any way, avoiding the sensation or trying to get away from it and stop it, which could be to numb it out through medicine and drugs, to do some kind of treatment for it, to stop it or fix it. That is a defense mechanism against the feeling. Okay, that is something you're doing to try to stop it. That's a defense. Um, if you were to change a subject, when well, this happens sometimes in the session, that's a defense, go off in a different direction. 
Uh, if you were to shut down internally to what you're feeling, which can happen, by the way, guys, um, automatically through the subconscious nervous system, uh, a freeze state, you shut down, you become numb. That's a defense against the feeling. Now, some of this is happening consciously and some of it's happening unconsciously. I've seen it. It's incredible. Sometimes the brain will switch the feeling. Sometimes it will, something's arising, the person's uncomfortable, so they get, become anxious as a secondary uh, defense or as a defense against the feeling. So we have all these things, guys. You can have uh, projection. You can, you can put it on something else. You can rationalize. Okay, that's another way to defend against the feeling. You get up in your head, try to think away the feeling. Um, there's so many things we can do. People using different uh, cannabis or alcohol, or drugs, fences. Exercise, over-exercise can be a defense against the feeling. Uh, watching TV, too much television, chocolate coffee. Now, these things aren't bad. I'm not saying you can't do any of these things, but it's what are you doing it for? Just doing it for enjoyment and pleasure? Or are you doing it as a defense against what you feel? Meaning you don't want to feel this. You're trying to avoid the feeling, defend against it. You don't want it. Okay. The idea here, guys, is that we drop our defenses. We need to drop our defenses that are in us, what we do, so we can allow the feeling in for the feeling to come up and out. Okay, remember the feeling is just caused by the brain. Something wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with it. We'll learn more. We're going to go over more of this in the, Mar in the March group coming up. In my, my weekly groups for the month, we're going to continue to dive into this for you guys, whether you're with the groups for a while or you're just starting. It's We all need to learn this process. Um, it's a universal process, but we're coming from different places um, in ourselves from what we've been through. We're trying to build what's called affect tolerance. Okay, it's a term, psychological term, the word tolerance or tolerating the feeling. We need to tolerate the feeling until it passes. Through what's called a window of tolerance, a window of tolerance. We open this window in ourselves and allow whatever's here to come through the window so it can go out the window, meaning out our bodies and pass. So guys, defenses. Shutting the window down. I don't want to feel a defense is sort of, sort of like a resistance. Another defense could be you reacting negatively to what's going on. Okay, you blowing it up more through a defense, getting anxious over the feeling, getting worried, getting concerned, uh, avoiding things, not going out and doing certain things, okay, because you don't want that feeling in your body, that sensation, that symptom start. So that's a defense against it. I won't get it if I don't go out. Okay. But at the same time, you, you don't move forward. You stay stuck. Okay, guys, the feeling is not the problem, which means the symptom is not the problem when it's derived from your brain. It's not the problem. One of the problems is your defense against the feeling that you don't want to feel it and you'll do anything you can to avoid the feeling or stop it or fix it. That's a defense. And you can have any number of them, some conscious, some unconscious. We're trying to break it. To my job is to help you guys drop your defenses and that what you're feeling is okay. It's 100% it's, it's okay. It's not what it seems. It's not what it means. And we learn how to become an observer of the feeling, of the sensation, and let this thing pass like a cloud. Your symptoms should be a cloud. You're not trying to blow back the clouds, blow them the other way. You're not trying to become the cloud, right? Right, Be in the middle of a cloud like in an airplane. It's quite turbulent, quite unsettling. We're trying to be the observer of the clouds while you're standing on the ground and watching these clouds go by and letting them unfold in their own natural way. And we can do that with this practice because why? None of this stuff is inherently harmful. It can be hurtful, but it's not harmful. It can be very uncomfortable, very unpleasant. But again, it's just a brain-derived sensation. So we don't need to be concerned and worried about it. That concern and worry and reaction is a defense. And that makes it worse or keeps it stuck. So a defense is like putting a wall up 
pushing it, trying to push it back. Uh, it doesn't allow it to pass, right? It's going to stay stuck. It's going to stay stuck. So guys, let's drop your defenses. What are your defenses? If you want to learn more, join the groups or work with me one-on-one. We'll try to identify your defenses and against your own feelings. Learn to try to drop them so that you can feel these feelings more and let them pass. Okay, they're not bad. They're not what they seem. They're not what they feel. They feel bad, but they're not bad. And so it's really important to make that distinction and then learn to deal with the feeling. It's not thinking anymore. We use some of the mental processes to how we're going to do the work, but inherently it's feeling your feelings, dealing with these feelings, okay? So guys, let's work with your defenses. It's one of the biggest things that people have against the feeling, against the symptom that keeps it stuck makes it worse, doesn't allow it to pass, doesn't allow it to heal. So look for your own defenses. Again, if you need help or want to practice this more, join the groups, do a lot of somatic work, or, or hit me up for one-on-one -on -one consultation and help. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.